Hey everyone and welcome back to another Romaine Racing video. It's been a while since I've done a vape video, so here we are. We got a Smock X Priv 225 watt with uh, the Dead Rabbit top. We're going to, uh, it's brand new, it has never been used yet. Just opened it and put it on for this video. And we are going to get this coiled and wicked. So let's get into it. Alright, so we have our mix twist mix twisted 0.45 ohm. Just to start out, we're gonna use these because I only have two coils left of them anyways. I'm just gonna try and talk as we go and do this as I normally would and and turn this on first. Oh I guess five, one, three, four, five. Anyways, so, first thing, you got your vape, and you got your top. Anyways, so we have this, your coil is going to go in here, you got two different color posts, you're going to stick that in there, you got to cut it to fit. So once you have them loosened, take your coil, put it in each hole. Obviously I still got to cut this, but I'm just checking to see, okay, so... You're going to go on the outside of the posts, just so that you can measure, and you want to cut off that much. You want to put that down so it touches the base, like so, whoops, put that down so it's touching the base, then you can kind of tell, okay, so that's where I need to cut it. So I can kind of see the twist, there's about two twists up it looks like. So we're going to cut it right about there. I'm going to have to cut some more off by the looks of it because that doesn't want to go down any further than that. See, with some of these, you can stick your coil ends right through. But other ones like this, it has a bottom to it, so you have to really get a little creative and make sure you cut it not too short, but short enough that it's going in and touching the bottom. So there, once you get that your size you can take that one and basically just put it up next to your other one and go okay that's where you got to cut it there so then you get that one cut again leaving a little bit just in case because if you got to trim it you can trim it after it's no big deal then you can put that one in and tighten them down. So we'll tighten them down and then we'll be right back. Alright, so once you have them in and tight and you're good to go, then you're just gonna make sure your device is unlocked and uh, I'm actually gonna turn this back light out for a second here so that I can see this and show it better, but you're gonna heat these up Better to pulse it, you can kind of just heat it a bit, and then let off, heat it a bit, and then let off. But what that's going to do is it's going to show you your hot spots, it's going to... You want to get the coils primed and know where the hot spots are and stuff like that, so you can kind of just score it. So I got a pair of tweezers, normally you could use a ceramic tip tweezers, so you don't have to worry about it getting hot. But... We're old school, and old school is better. So, uh, yeah, let's get her done here. So I'm just going to score these back and forth, just kind of pluck in a little bit, just lightly, nothing extreme. And give them a little squeeze. And then do it again and check it. So now they're both firing at the same time, nice and even. 
So I think we're good to go. So now, I'm just going to cool that off a little bit, blow on it, and uh, we'll be right back. So we got uh, cotton bacon is what we're going to be using, prime. Never actually, I don't recall ever doing this on camera, or I guess I should turn this light back on so you can see a little better. And uh, yeah, so just bear with me. Hopefully I'm doing it so everybody can see. And hopefully I don't get too camera shy and screw up. So let's do this and do this properly. So all I'm doing is you pull a piece out, you get a big chunk, and then I'm just taking it and taking littler pieces that I need off of it, hoping that this will be the size, and then just kind of fluff it. You know, pull off your your little bit of excess that you get like that. We don't want that or need that. Just kind of give it a little tug, not too much, or you're going to rip it and give it a uh, stretch soft spots. You don't want to do that. So we're going to take the vape and just smoothly pull that through. I'm going to feel it get a little tighter. Hopefully. There we go. And then you just kind of give that a little snug back and forth. You don't want it too tight where when I pull on it, you don't want it to pull the coil. But when you pull on it, you don't want it to just be fully loose either. So in this case, it's worked out good where I can just tuck this side in. And I can cut the other side to match it. So I just pulled it the full length and it got... It got uh, snug enough here, I think, for my liking. And then now that it's snug enough, we'll, we'll pull that down to the base. So it's level at the base, like this side, so we can kind of tuck it in past the edge. And then we're just going to cut that in and tuck it in. Again, leave a little bit extra. Because if you need to trim it a little bit more... After you cut it, then you have a little extra that you can play with there, and then you're not cutting it too short and screwing yourself over in the long run, right? So I like to take the tweezers to tuck this in. It's just a lot easier and smoother. And you've kind of just got that nice and pretty. So we'll get the other side done and uh, get to the juicing. Alright, so now just kind of fluff this up. You're going to get a whole bunch of this extra fur ball, fur stuff off it. I'm going to pull that all off. Just give it a little, not too much, just, just kind of letting just letting the end of the tweezers go through so I can get any of the chunkies and the spots that are stuck. I'm going to do the same thing on this side that I tucked. I just had that tucked to keep it out of my way for now. Once we do this, we'll tuck them both back down and then get it all juiced up. Shit, I wasn't even recording, but anyways, <laughs> the only thing everybody missed was, okay, so I got two different kinds of vape juice, Speakeasy Vape Parlor, Strawberry Kiwi, and then we got Speakeasy Vape Parlor Grapple, so we decided to go with the Grapple, some of the highest quality premium vape juice that you can get, Speakeasy Vape Parlor in Bancroft, Ontario, so uh, make sure if you're ever in the area... Check them out, get yourself some juice. Like I said, highest quality, very premium, and 
I just I just love it, man. It's great, great products, great people. So we got this all juiced up. We got the cotton all in there, wicked, coils done, and it's basically it. You're good to go. So once you have that all primed up and juiced, let that sit with the juice. Let it soak for a little bit. Once you've done that, you can. Uh, there's going to be like the smallest amount right here, just kind of from the top edge. Just take your finger, you're going to get it on your finger, or a piece of cloth or whatever you want. I just use my finger. And just rub that around all the way. Not too much, just enough to say you got it on there so it's damp. Then you take your uh, top, in my case, dead rabbit, and you just put that on. But you want to make sure that your, your vents, I always keep my vents fully open, just force a habit and works way better for me the way that I vape and the, the amount of uh, vape production. So I put, you want your vents lined up with your coil. So you don't want to put it on so that your vents being with your cotton, you want your vent so that it's with your coil. So that all your airflow comes in and keeps that cool while you're, while you're vaping. And then you're not going to have a dirty, dirty one. So now that we have that, We'll show everybody the difference here. So now you have a nice clean, brand new coils, brand new cotton, and then you have the dirty after a long time of neg <clears throat> of negligence and not getting it cleaned or re-wicking it, and that's what it's gonna end up looking like. So don't let it get like this. Don't do this. Do this and keep it this way. If it starts to look anything even remotely close to this one, make sure you hook it. And you redo it. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, thank you guys all for watching. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see more of, um, what kind of vape videos and stuff like that. What other what other things do you want to learn or that I can maybe help teach and or push across along the way, right? So again, hopefully everybody enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.